since I've even been able to be on here. So you guys might see some changes here as far as the environment because we moved, finally, we have moved. I think a few months ago I told you guys we had moved into an apartment to wait till our house was ready and it's ready, we're here and we love it. I think eventually, um, maybe in a couple weeks or something, I will do a tour and kind of just to show you guys uh, the new digs, but I'm so happy that we finally have moved and we're done. <laughs> uh, yes, I wanna also just thank everyone uh, for their love and support over the past few months. I know there's been so much that has gone on, as you guys can see. Um, the clips that I just showed you, that has pretty much been the last few months between the fashion show and then going to Vegas for the Regency International pageant and just everything that's going on, projects, movie, commercial projects, there's been a lot, but I'm just kind of thankful that I've had y'all support for the past few months. Thank you all so much and I appreciate it. So yes, as you can see through the, the little clips and videos here, I had the chance to go to at least two good fashion shows and yes, I will highlight them. That was really more of just clips to show you. So I will be doing a lot of product reviews again. That isn't going anywhere, but they I will be changing kind of the dynamic of my show. It's funny, because when I started doing Fridays two years ago, it was only really to vlog certain things that I did product reviews, but then it became something of a business because there's a lot of companies that want me to actually review their products. So product reviews are not going anywhere. I will be doing that, and we will be back probably doing that next week. Uh, but also I wanted to add kind of some I like a lot of the things I do here in San Diego. There's so much talent here. That's one thing that I've noticed with going to events and going to certain things around town. There's so much talent here in this city alone. So you will probably see a, other, a special segment where I'll be highlighting a business or um, a event that I went to to just kind of show you guys what is out there, what, what is to offer here in San Diego. So I can't wait to highlight these different uh, projects. Um, so between the move, between the, uh, the events that I've been going to, it's been very, very busy. Uh, Regency International, let's talk about it. So this year I had a great time. I actually had a really good time. The only sad part about it was the international queens from all over the world were not able to participate, unfortunately. We had, I think Cayman Islands was there, but other than that, we could not, due to COVID obviously, it was very sad. Hopefully 2022, the international queens will be back and um, I'm looking forward to it. I thought my performance was great. With being first runner up in a pageant, it's like, it's a good thing, but at the same time, it's like, it's so, it can be kind of sad because you know, you know you're so close to a title, but yet not that close. <laughs> you're good, but not good enough. But I'm okay with that because of me being first runner up again, it allowed me the chance to remain 
Mrs. United States for another year. So anybody that went to Regency International and placed first runner up, we were officially considered the national title holders. So it's an honor to be Mrs. United States. It's an honor to have that title one more year and I'm looking forward to repping it again. Well, one photogenic, which was to me very shocking. It's funny because when you look on the video, um, I kind of look like a deer in headlights, but I really was surprised that they chose my photo and it not being a professional photo. I think that was the most funny part for me is like, it wasn't a professional photo, but if they loved it, great. I was, I got photogenic winner. And I was also Miss Congeniality. And that just is a testament to just my personality and me being what they say, the nicest, warmest girl at the pageant. <laughs> With that also being said, I know that you guys noticed I had another title that I had, which is Mrs. Black Global. So I had the opportunity previously before competing to become Mrs. Black Global in that organization. And um, it was really just depending on what happened at Regency. So since I didn't win the international title, it still opened the door for me to be the ambassador queen for Mrs. Black Global. So now I have two titles. <laughs> I'm Mrs. United States, Regency International, and I'm also Mrs. Black Global. And I would like to thank Mrs. Sandra, which is part of the, and the director for Mrs. Black Global, for allowing me the opportunity to represent it in a way um, that only an African-American woman could. And I don't see it as a, a segregated title at all. If anything, we're celebrating and highlighting um, our culture, our heritage, and who we are as, as beautiful um, African-American women. And I have zero problem, very proud to do that and represent here in San Diego and the state of California as Mrs. Black Global. And I plan to do so much with that title as well in the community locally, and also plan to do a lot with Mrs. United States on a national scale. So to me, it's a win-win. It's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, it's a great thing. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there and clear that up just in case anybody was confused as to why one day they're like, she's Mrs. Black Global, and the next day she's Mrs. United States because she's both honey, okay? Um, but uh, very happy, very honored to represent both titles and both organizations. Um, it's, it's, it's an honor, honestly. So uh, what's next for me? Got some more projects coming up. Can't really even talk about it, but you guys will probably be seeing it soon. I just can't talk about it. So uh, I just been very blessed again to work on two major film projects that are coming out soon. And um, y'all, I can't, there's nothing I can say. There's really nothing I can say or do other than to just say thank you, you know, for the opportunities. I, I did not see these coming at all, but um, they're two major film roles and I'm very much excited to be a part of it. Also, Love Her Lips, what's going on with Love Her Lips? I know everybody's asking about that too. I am expanding. So uh, in the video, I know you guys saw the nude collections. So I just wanna make this clear before we even say anything about what exactly that is. Um, the nude collection doesn't mean I'm nude. <laughs> I wanna make that clear, okay? Because the photo kinda looks as if I am, but really all it is is that Love Her Lips is expanding to neutral colors, okay? So my first line of lipsticks, about five colors, was very bright and bold. That's what I wanted. I had a lot of questions about, do you have a nude color or neutral colors? Well, yes, ladies. I've gotten enough DMs for everybody to say, I love the bold colors, but I also want a nude color. Well, it's coming. It's on the way. That's what that picture is. That's what that picture you guys are seeing right now. The nude line is on the way. So I will have five beautiful colors to be displayed for you for neutral tones and lip glosses as well. So it's not only going to be the nude lip colors in a matte finish, but it'll also have um, the lip gloss as well. So you'll have an opportunity to get both or the whole collection. So I'm just excited. I'm very excited that Love Her Lips is doing great. I'm very excited that we are expanding and um, hopefully the next goal, guys, is to get it in stores. That's where we're headed next is uh, uh, I had an opportunity or two, actually I should say two opportunities, for it to be put in, in some boutiques. So um, I'm just, 
I, I'm at a loss for words again. I have no words for, for everything that's going on right now other than if you work hard, you can get what you want. If you work hard, you can get anything you want and dreams do come true. All the cliches that they say, I'm just being a cliche right now, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Y'all that have known me forever, have known my journey, and you know how long it's taken me to get where I am. And you know, things are finally slowly starting to happen. I just wanted to do a quick video just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in my world. Uh, two titles. Love Her Lips is coming out with a new line. And I have two movie projects that I'm working on. Friday Show is back and will remain, it'll just be a little different. My intro is about to change. You gotta evolve, right? When you evolve, you have to, your business has to evolve. So um, new intro's coming up soon. We're kind of changing the show. I'll be talking more to a lot of businesses out here in San Diego and highlighting events that I go to. And, and that's what's happening with me right now. Now y'all know. <laughs> and um, I hope y'all continue to watch my Friday shows and continue to just follow my journey for the next year with everything going on. And um, I hope for the best for all. I also too wanted to send, send my condolences out to the families of the soldiers we lost in Afghanistan in the last, uh, couple of days, which has just been really tragic. I couldn't imagine, honestly, what their families are going through. Being in the military community myself, we know how it is and how tight knit it is. And um, when one, when we lose one or few, we, you know, it's, it's hurtful. It's hard on everybody. So condolences to that family. Our prayers and thoughts are with you. Thank you all again for watching. I will see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh.